charge of prisoners, sir. I told him to come out and play with the grown-ups, but not too late. You think he's joking? Well, after the first six weeks on my back, I said, great, the only way to fight a war, especially with Libby here giving me back rubs twice a day. <laughs> Tom got jealous when he found out I do it for all the boys. At ease, girl, Lieutenant. Sir, I've only got one more mission to fly to finish my tour of duty. I get plenty of rest after that. Seriously, sir, I feel fine. It's Doc here who insists I'm sick. Soda on the rocks. Well, you look pretty good to me, Doc. He probably is. But we don't know enough about hepatitis to take any chances. Tom's back on GI Chow now for about a week. Tomorrow we'll start a series of blood tests. If they come through negative, after three or four days, you can have him for target practice. Well, you heard the man. Just uh, take it easy on that soda. <laughs> yes. Excuse me. Evening, sir. Thank you, Charlie. Good evening, gentlemen. Lieutenant, does that new tail gunner of yours learn the difference between a parachute pack and a lunch pail? <laughs> yes, sir. He sure did. Boy. I had a call. I was prepared to bail out of the cologne, and he sure learned quick. Never saw such a shower of bananas and hard-boiled legs. <laughs> Steve, they haven't played that uh, slap slap Texas song in almost two minutes. Why don't you go put it on? Oh, yeah, it should be. Hate that song, huh? How'd the go to staff? Well, we got the big black beauty, all right, tomorrow morning. The aircraft plant in the Rome Valley. You want to know? It's around about 500 of the aircraft guns and all the enemy fighters we can eat. What's the casualty estimate? Tonight's episode, Those Who Are About to Die.